Let me give you one piece of advice. Be honest. He knows more than you can imagine. Biomorphs. Welcome, Pamela. I'm Biomorpheus. Hi. Biomorpheus? No. Biomorpheus. Please come sit. Well then, they're polycrystalline aggregates. They grow in alkaline solution. You might not understand. Hmm. Tell me. They are micrometer scale structures. Funnels, cones, sheets, helices. Not at all like crystals. They consist of an enormous number of co-aligned nanoparticles. They are embedded in a silica matrix. Okay, okay. But how do these biomorphs form? Do you believe in chemical self-organization? Let me tell you how to make them. Start with a solution of barium chloride and sodium silicate. Put it in a petri dish. Now CO2 from the air enters the solution. Then barium carbonate forms. Globules emerge. They nucleate the biomorph self-assembly. Do you know what I'm talking about? The matrix. Do you want to know how it works? Self-assembly and self-organization are everywhere, even now in your own body. It rules biology, it exists in chemistry. Biomorphs are purely inorganic. Perhaps they shouldn't exist. But we know a few things. We know that individual nanoparticles form in solution. What nanoparticles? They have the crystal structure of ritherite PAM. They show crystal strain from silicon inclusions and have widths of 5 to 100 nanometers. We believe they assemble onto the growing edges of the biomorphs. Unfortunately, many details are entirely unclear. More research is clearly needed. This is your last chance. After this, there's no turning back. You take the blue pill and you will forget everything you learned about biomorphs. You take the red pill, you will become a scientist and I show you the future of science and engineering. Remember, all I'm offering is the quest for truth. <laughs>